This video was created to help you make the transition from older versions of Reunion to Reunion 10. It shows you where to find some of the old familiar features and how some tasks are handled differently in Reunion 10. Please note, we have another video on our website that focuses on the top 10 new features in Reunion 10. When you first open your family file in Reunion 10, you'll notice that the old family card is now called the Family View, but the layout is pretty much the same. One big change is that the buttons for people can include more information. Here we've added the age, relationship, and other events to child buttons. Also, buttons for parents and children can show pictures. Family views are customized by choosing Reunion, Preferences, Family View. Each person in the family file has a new pop-up menu button. This little menu shows a person's siblings, spouses, and children. And it also includes many other features for that person, like searching genealogical websites. Buttons at the top of Reunion 9 have moved to the new nav bar on the left side or to the bottom bar. For example, the Home button is down here, along with the Back and Forward buttons. And here is the Help button, which opens the manual. There's also a new History button to show you where you've been. Most of what you need to do is found in the nav bar on the left, instead of the menu bar at the top. Right now the family view is selected in the nav bar. The blue highlight tells you where you are. For example, to make a report, click Reports in the nav bar. All the different reports are laid out nicely for you. Likewise, to make a graphic chart, click Charts in the nav bar and then select the chart you'd like to create. The old overview is now called the tree view, and it's much larger and interactive. To scroll the view, just drag it around. To make the tree view start with a different person, just click a box, or show the sidebar and pick somebody there. This example shows a tree view in the new hourglass style. In the settings, we can switch from hourglass to a pedigree style, showing only ancestors of the starting person. As you've noticed, the new sidebar appears along the right side. The content of the sidebar is easily changed by selecting items over here in the list of sidebars, or at the top of the sidebar. The name of the selected sidebar is highlighted in yellow. Notice that you can see and use lists without opening a new window on top of your family view. Click this little button to hide the sidebar when you need to see more of the family view. The old index is now the people sidebar. Here we are searching for somebody and then showing records by clicking names in the sidebar. If you want to see lists in a separate window, just click the List button under a sidebar. The List window can show more columns in a spreadsheet-style display. Instead of Reunion 9's separate multimedia window, Reunion 10 has a multimedia sidebar showing thumbnails of items linked to the current couple. Notice how the sidebar is updated as you navigate around the family file. Double-click any item to see the new media window for a person. Cropping pictures is much simpler in Reunion 10. When editing a person or family, the Edit Person or Edit Family window will slide in and replace the family view. Notice that the nav bar on the left and the sidebar on the right can still be used even when you're editing information. For example, when editing a field for a person, you can quickly edit the same field for other people by clicking other people in the sidebar. 
Likewise, if you are creating a report, like the new On This Date report, you can generate the report for other people just by clicking names in a sidebar. To find anything, to find the relationship between two people, or to find and replace, click the Find button in the nav bar. When you search for something, the results are displayed in the results sidebar. To go to a person in the results, click the person's name. The clipboard has also moved to the sidebar. Drag people in and out of the clipboard to correct mistakes and link people. In Reunion 10, the bookmarks are in the sidebar and behave like the bookmarks in your web browser, meaning people are only added to the bookmarks when you want them to be. One way to add a person to the bookmarks is to drag and drop. Treetops is a list of a person's earliest ancestors. These are displayed in the sidebar. As you navigate around your family file, the list is updated to show the treetops for the current couple. The Ages feature also appears in the sidebar and is updated as you click on different people, always showing the ages for the current couple in the family view. To change the settings for the ages, click the Settings button under the sidebar. In fact, you'll see Settings buttons in many different places in Reunion 10. Likewise, the Share button appears in several places. Anytime you see it, you can print, email, or copy something. Here are three examples. To email the Family View, click the Share button under the Family View. To open the Events Report in your Word Processor, click the Share button under the Report. To copy the Ages list to the clipboard, click the Share button under the Ages sidebar. In Reunion 10, Web Family Cards are now an optional part of the new Web Project Report. Select Reports, Web Project. The Web Project can include a new five generation tree chart. It's much easier to fix accidental duplication of records in Reunion 10. If you have two people who you know are the same person, just drag one on top of the other. In the new merge window, you can compare the two records, look at the parents, spouses, and children of each record, and confirm that they are the same person. You can check out more of the changes in Reunion 10 in the manual. Choose Help, Upgrading and then click Changes in Reunion 10. For a complete list of new features in Reunion 10, choose Help, New Features. Or watch the video, The Top 10 New Features in Reunion 10, also available here on our website. We hope you enjoy using Reunion 10.